going to do a quick like kind of a review with uh, just this solar mod and it's basically uh, a solar charger and I've made it myself it's pretty much the first uh, e-cig or mod I've tried to make and uh, it's, it's uh, the person who uh, actually come up with this idea is a guy called there's a YouTube uh, name is Tassel Oak and you can go on and he's got like a, I think it's a four uh, four videos and it just basically runs you through how to make it so <coughs> it's not it's not particularly hard it, there is a bit of kind of intricate solder work going on inside this uh, inside here where you've got this uh, you've got an interface here where you've just got a wire loads of it well not loads but plenty of uh, wires and uh, you're basically working with quite a confined space so <coughs> it's a really small mod I mean I'll put it up against a bottle of juice, that's a 10 mil bottle of juice so you can see how big it is, I mean <coughs> I'll put it up against the, uh, I mean it's it's pretty much the same size as your Precious and like Precious is a really small mod as well so uh, just so you can get an idea as to what size it, it actually is and yeah it's it's a charger <coughs> and you just buy a, your char a charger, solar charger and it basically there's a uh, there's a battery inside here. I think it's a 1350 uh, mAh, uh, so it's quite a good. It's got a good uh, mAh rating on it, and uh, that's inside here. And these uh, solar panels here charge it up, and uh, you can see when it's charging because there's a green light here. You can just see it, and if I kind of put my hand over it, see it, go, it's just gone off. So yeah, if you've got a light. And it'll just it'll just charge off the uh, light in your actual room or whatnot. So I mean, it's a really good idea, and I just I seen it and I'm thinking, well, I probably might be able to do that. So uh, I got a couple of these chargers, and um, and voila, that's that's the finished product. Like it's got a button uh, to drill an all here for a button, and that's basically an LED, and then there's a there's the actual switch behind that, and so that's pretty much resting on it. But it's a clicky button you can hear that and um, so it is nice also a wider uh, blue LED into this so uh, which is kind of nice so every time you press the button you, your uh, this green light will go off this oh, well it's gone off anyway now but yeah that green light will go off and this blue one will come on and it's uh, kind of nice shiny blue and uh, yeah and it vapes great it's brilliant I mean uh, when when I first um, when I first uh, built it and I just put it together, the battery was flat as a pancake, so uh, there was just nothing coming out of it. So what I did, I charged it for an hour, and since then I've not charged it since, and I haven't been using it like, uh, I've been using it a bit, but I haven't been using it as my solid all day vape or anything like that, because I've been to work and stuff like that, and, I, and, I, and I, you know, I've only had this, uh, it's only been finished about 24 hours, so it's not like I'm going to take it to work and uh, risk it running out because I don't really know what um, the battery time is but yeah up to now I charged it for an hour and I've not charged it since and I've just been leaving it on the side and stuff like that and it's uh, it's been charging I mean you can it's pretty much charging all the time but anyway yeah uh, <laughs> it kicks ass on vapor front and all that's um, I'll just chuck a few drops in. Yeah, this is it's amazing really. It's like a dream come true. It's like a mod that you don't have to mess about charging, and uh, they're quite easy to build. I mean, if you're good with your hands, you'll, you'll be able to build one. Uh, I mean, there is a lot of messing about and stuff like that. But I mean, I'm kind of good with my hands, so uh, 
something like this is a bit of a challenge, I don't know. I'm not like super up on electronics, but I can get by with circuitry and stuff like that, so I didn't find it too hard, like. But uh, I took my time and I made a good job of it, and it, yeah, it looks really good. I mean, it's all flush on end, and you can see that. It's so and you can still actually use it as a charger, so you can charge your phone up in your MP3 player and um, uh, well, whatever, your camera, what, whatever you charge up off one of these, uh, you can still use it as a charger. But uh, obviously I prefer to use it as, uh, as a vaping uh, device. Yeah, so you can pretty much tell that it absolutely chucks out a lot of vapour and um, it's tiny. I mean, like, you can't really tell with that, but I mean, that's my re remote for camera and it's like pretty much the same size as that and it's like, you know, it's tiny. Look at that. Anyway, I just bought a post this up uh, just because uh, if you can make one, make one because sure uh, it'll come in handy uh, somewhere otherwise whether you, uh, you go camping or you go fishing or whatever or, you know or you just out of town for a day and you yeah, can't take a charger with you for any reason what you can think of like that it's pretty perfect and uh, just for vaping all day every day and maybe taking it to work I mean the only reason I took it to work is just because I had it that long so I, couldn't, I can't tell you uh, <coughs> if battery's going to run out I mean I I'm a really heavy vapor, so I'm like that all the time, so I don't take it to work for that reason, but I've been getting it to work out tonight, and I was playing with it, having a play with it last night, so, and yeah, I've not had to charge it, it's just, uh, still kicking it large, large with, with vapor, as you can see. Anyway, uh, I'm not going to go on about it all night, but yeah, that is it, I'll let you have a quick look. Got a lanyard with it, and... Anyway, yeah, that's it. So I'll catch you guys later.